Hi guys, it's um, November 18 of 2024 and I have a haul here for you um, from two different uh, thrift shops, uh, mostly vintage um, jewelry and I spent a total of 261 or 262-ish um, dollars. So I went to two different thrift shops, the red, white and blue and I paid this, however, 130, but the $30 was um, the amount that I paid for the puzzles. So $100 for that. And this is from the American Thrift Store and I paid 160.82. So it's a total of $262 for these. Uh, for all these so i'm not sure if i made a good buy however as you can see the highlight there is <clears throat> the tiffany uh bangle and um yeah so i will try i i they still have the tags here most of the jewelry here um still have the tags and um so there you go so um let's start off with um this bangle this bangle is really really cute by the way i am in in my son's <laughs> room and i'm not sure if the lighting is um sufficient enough and this was two dollars and 99 cents as you can see and this was a part of the discount so there you go i love it because um it's like a piano uh, a piano brass uh, bangle i just love it Next is um, this. This was originally priced at $10. But then since it's missing one blue cabochon, um, I asked if I could get a discount and they said $5. So I have to find um, a blue cabochon. This is a gripois. Um, Byzantine um, style. I like, I like it. I love it. And uh, I, I just have to find a replacement for the blue stone. I have one downstairs, but I just realized it's not actually flat in the back. So I need something that is flat in the back because it's circular. And um, we'll see about that. But it's really, really, really nice. So uh, it was still five dollars guys so this is um, these are huge clip-on earrings they are unmarked are they marked oh but really really nice so there you go next were these um they look like amber to me and um i don't think this is silver I haven't tested it with the magnet nor the eyes. I will do that after. And uh, look at the, could be amber. And these are cool earrings and they are really, really um, heavy. They are heavy. It's not marked anywhere else. So um, this might not be 925, but um, it's really, really pretty. I think, this was seven dollars and 99 cents love it this is one of my favorite finds of course <clears throat> and this one uh i wasn't supposed to get this one but uh because it's it's pierced i know it's not that old but um you know why not right um I love gold tone earrings and uh, this has uh, a little bit of shine to it it's not actually matte and uh, I love the um, micro seed pearls over there <laughs> and yeah so there you go I think this was five dollars if I'm not mistaken okay and this one was ten dollars but it was 50 percent off and so this was five dollars and um 
this is by Joan Rivers. So it's still a pretty good, um, pretty good price for a Joan Rivers pendant necklace. Okay. As you can see, they were $8, I think, for, for these because it was 50% off. And um, the, their clip-on earrings, guys, they're, especially the big, bold ones, some of them are priced at $25. I'm like, per piece. And they're not even signed. It's just ridiculously, you know, priced. But since this was uh, 50 off, I, I, I got it. So it has like a blue uh, multifaceted um, cabochon black <coughs> here. Stone. Okay. This was one of the, you know, most expensive things. But actually, um, not that expensive because of this color. Apparently peach. Uh, they had 75% going on here. So, so... 75 so i think this was like 18 or 19 dollars so this has that tiffany ish uh looking thing but this is an esq uh watch uh bracelet and um, i know that charm uh bracelet bracelets are coming back so i bought this because it's, it was 75 that would be the cheapest so far and i am not sure if this works but you know I'm just going to wear it for for the, you know, bracelet alone. It is ESQ by uh, Movado. I believe ESQ is also Swiss made. Um, Swiss quartz. I've had some ESQs before. So, um, yeah. I love Movado. And, uh, yes, let me see if I could. See? There you go. Pretty. <clears throat> okay. Now, we'll... This, oh wow, where did it come from? This one was 75% off, $20. So this says it's silver. I always go there like at the end of uh, the day on a Sunday. So that's when everything else has been depleted, of course, or gone. If I could only go there during, during um, weekdays, that would be nice. But, you know... I, I don't drive and I don't want to go there. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is apparently 925, although it's not signed, but the but the back of the piercing here says it's 925. I think they lost the original one because one of them says 1925, the other one is not. So I believe this is silver. So um, again, I think this would come up to um, $6? $6? silver why not right okay <clears throat> again i bought a lot of peach colored things because they were 75 off okay i fell in love with the clasp as you can see i love the clasp i love these uh, types of clasp what do you call it clasp again especially if it has a very um intricate uh nice detail with a closure. I think this was new. See, it still has this um, uh, thing attached. And I'm, this is plastic, but I just love the combination of uh, the swirl uh, beads. It's really, really nice painted beads. These are not glass. I believe these, these are, are they glass? They're a bit heavy. No, it could just be plastic not glass okay this one and it's a signed Monet and um, yeah these are uh, plastic plastic it's not glass but they do make a lot of noise I think it's glass <laughs> They're, they're usually heavier than a plastic, so it could be glass. <laughs> okay, so there is a Monet. <laughs> okay, next is this. I like the moon glow effect. The moon glow effect. And um, I just love it. It's just so... It does not have a clasp, guys. But this is um, big. 
big enough to um, go over your head, but not that big. But I was just wondering why there is no clasp. <laughs> but I love the color. It's just so um, soft and subtle. By the way, I have been cleaning the bathroom and mopping all throughout, guys. That's why it's so dry right now. My hands are very, very dry. Okay, next would be these. These are 75 off and marcasite, um, swirl, um, earrings. Very, very nice, guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm afraid to dip this in the silver thing because I might lose the tiny marcasite uh, stones. I'm not sure if um, it's advisable, but it's really, really nice. It's, um, yeah. Next is this. This is a little bit loose. Um, this is, uh, they these are very chunky i mean very heavy and um this one is a bit loose is monet i like the enameling and um yeah i i like it i like this design and i asked my hubby to tighten this a bit because it's a little bit um loose i didn't know that you could actually do that he was able to tighten it okay next would be this one was i think only 2.99 if i'm not mistaken or for 3.99 uh, i just wanted a um thin thin <laughs> um chain and my it got caught in one of these and my son yanked it so i don't know how to um, put this back Okay, next would be this. This, I love the color combination. Um, I love it, I love it. Uh, it. This color is very, very rare to me, this color combination. And um, I think these are plastic, but when I checked the, this was 50 off. And I think this is by 1928 because some filigreed um, etchings, especially on the clasps or back the back of their jewelry, especially brooches, you would know it's by 1928, although it's not marked. But so I just love that. I, I, um, you know, I just love the color combination. It's like marble, marble, clear, clear things. And this one. For some reason, I bought this. I think there's something special going on about this one. <laughs> it, it was 50%. Um, one thing, I think this has like a Chinese, this is like a cinnabar thing. But of course, it's just plastic. But I just love the, um, I love the carvings, the rose carvings. And I think there's something special about this because it has like a Chinese or Asian um, thing going on here. Um, it's reddish and yeah. By the way, this is the second video I've made using my um, newly acquired uh, phone which is iPhone 16 Max Pro or Pro Max. <laughs> and um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so I, I have yet to compare the, the quality. I'm a techno tard. Uh, I really don't know, you know, the difference, but uh, I just want the newest or updated, whatever. And uh, my... My son's uh, phone got smashed while he was uh, working on his um, on his car. He dropped a tool, that, therefore it was smashed. So um, he got my not even a year phone, um, at 14 Pro Max. So I said, okay, I'm going to get the new one. So yeah, there you go. This is, can, if some, I think these ones, yeah, they have Chinese inscription. It's like something, I'm not sure. I don't wear those, but I should start wearing. And this one, again, 
it's these peach 75 off okay this one was uh, eight dollars i think for red um for red uh things um, they had 25 off so this has a um tropical themed um braces you got that a surfer a hula dancer and the pineapple yeah it's it's really really pretty and i know that they are they are coming back these charm bracelets are um coming back into style again <laughs> um next is um okay these were again eight bucks less 25 and uh, this has i don't know i'm not aware of this stamp if that's just part of the style it's uh, it has this david yearman coiled thing effect going on or um or hardy what's i forgot but it, this has like a bali bali or thailand uh, thing going on here um yeah ed hardy is it ed hardy who's the other one the other uh, designer which has this that looks like david german i'm not sure if it's ed hardy and even judith ripka likes to use this kind of style it's like cool and this has a pink thing so yeah it's it's really really pretty 7.99 why not right and um yeah it's not marked, but uh, it's really, really pretty. Okay, now these three left here are uh, the most expensive ones that I bought from the thrift shop, from the American thrift store. <clears throat> okay, let's start off with this. This is a, um, as you can see, I, I don't know what kind of stone that is, but this is marked. RB, which is I think a running bear. It's a it's a vintage Navajo thing, and this was forty nine ninety nine. So this was fifty dollars. But uh, I got, I think they they gave me thirty five percent discount if I was to purchase these um, three. So I'm like okay, okay, because normally it's just twenty percent plus my membership from the other thrift shop that I'm paying for. Sometimes I don't visit in a month or how many months, and I'm just getting charged fourteen dollars, I believe, for a membership every month. So, um, yeah. So this is sterling sil silver, so that would come up to thirty-seven, thirty-seven dollars something, thirty-five off. If if my math is, oh. Oh no, it's 37, 49, that's 374. So it's like 34, 32 something. So not bad for a Navajo um, um, thing, bangle. I love, I love sterling silver um, bangles. I love silver more than gold because, well, I can't afford gold. <laughs> They're very expensive. <laughs> okay next is um okay i think these are malachite are, are they malachite or it could be yeah well because of the you know the look at that and this is like a hammered hammered thing it's mexico again it's one of those tl something yeah and uh, I did not know, I did not check this. This was $50 as well. This is where this came from. So it's like 34 again. And this has a little bit of um, like corrosion. It's not corrosion, what do you call that? Um, scratch on the metal or silver. So it's black there. I don't think, yeah. Yes, and yeah, so there, but um, there's the stamp there. I don't think I can, my my, my thing is so bad, guys. Like, uh, like, 
like this has like Thailand uh, thing going on here as well. Okay, so yeah, so it's Mexico and these are huge, huge earrings and they are very, very, um, I've been using these and uh, since last night and they're really, really heavy. So um, I have to weigh that. Okay, and then last but not the least and the creme de la creme. Uh, this was the most expensive. This was priced at uh, $120. $120. Oh, they got it on the 14th, so it was for three days old. They never, um, they, uh, for jewelry, it's over only 20%, though, especially if it's uh, silver. They don't go beyond that unless, you know, you ask for, uh, you know, sometimes they would just offer you if you're gonna get this. So yeah, things like that. So this is one of um, the rare uh, Tiffany bangle brace. I didn't even know that they had a, such like a hinge uh, bangle because all I see is a, like the wavy Paloma Picasso thing, and some of those just open cuff um, bangles or bracelets. But this one actually is hinged, and. Um, I couldn't find anything. I think I found one that is circle or round, return to sender. I mean, ret please return to Tiffany <laughs> thing. And I saw one that is like this. I think they go for 270 something. Okay, so yes, uh, it says there, um, Tiffany there and there is also a marking here in the back that says T and Co uh, and then 925 here but I was a little bit um, you know I was suspicious at first because I've never seen this style before if it's a chain like this I know that because they're very you know common but not this hinge bracelet so yeah so let me know about this so I paid um with the 35% discount that was like 84 less $8. So yeah, so yeah, 70 something, 75 some, something. So um, yeah, I, my, my math brain is not working guys, okay? So just do the math. So that would have been 84 less $8. So, so. There you go. So this this is a little bit big though. Yeah. Cuz I was suspicious. This is the second time I've gotten a Tiffany from them. Um the ball bracelet I I, I got uh like just uh, this year. And I also got a David Yurman from them before for 25 bucks like how many years ago and then I've stopped uh, visiting thrift shops altogether, and then I just started again this year. So yeah, so there you go. Let me know if this was a good buy, of course. And um, two hundred sixty-two dollars for all these. So it's like um, there's not a lot to show for these, but uh, you know, this one alone would have paid for um, everything. And yeah, so there you go. Okay, bye.